Seven years of austerity since the crash of 2008 has seen the sharpest fall in living standards probably for 80 years. Wages have fallen by over 10% and nearly 2 million people are in insecure employment, many of them on zero-hour contracts. My name is Dave Nellis, I'm the National Chair of the Trade Unionist and Socialist Coalition, Tusk for short, which was co-founded five years ago by the late Bob Crow, the General Secretary of the RMT, in order to give working class people in this country an electoral alternative to the establishment parties when we come to the ballot box and fighting austerity. We've seen 43 reforms to welfare, including £14 billion cut from the tax credit budget. And we're likely to see another £12 billion cut from welfare in Osborne's budget on July the 8th. We're in the fifth richest country on the planet, and yet over 1 million people now rely on food banks. The Tories are growing confident because of the lack of organised opposition, and that's both politically and industrially, and they're planning to take the level of social provision by public bodies, local and national in this country, back for generations. The level's not seen since the 1930s. The safety net of local councils has been cut by 40%, and a similar amount is planned over the next five years. That's every essential service from fire stations to libraries, from youth clubs to housing offices, as the Tories claim the need for austerity justifies them shrinking state provision. But it doesn't have to be that way. This is the richest country, the fifth richest country on the planet. In January, the BBC ran a programme called The Rich and Us. They showed that of all the cuts that have taken place to public spending since 2008, it added up to some £80 billion. The same seven years, the bonuses given to the bankers and the tops of the banking, finance and insurance industry in this square mile where the demonstration is assembling is the same £80 billion. In other words, all the pain that working class families have taken, the £80 billion worth of cuts, have been to provide a gain for the richest families in the country. The top 1,000 richest families in Britain doubled their wealth to £540 billion over the last seven years. Now, not one major national party talks of taking that wealth of using it for millions of ordinary working class families in Britain to build homes, to create jobs, to pay decent wages. So we need a party that does. And one's been started, the Trade Unionist and Socialist Coalition, Tusk for short. Every trade union on this demonstration, every socialist, every socialist organisation believes that wages should be higher, that the national minimum wage should rise, the TUC believes it should be 50% higher, £10 an hour now, so work pays without resorting to means-tested benefits. But there's no national party campaigning for £10 an hour now. Tusk does. Every trade union on this demonstration, every socialist, every socialist organisation believes that cuts and austerity should stop and that public services should be rebuilt, that council funding should be restored and welfare and pensions increased to pre-Thatcher levels. And most probably agree that the banks, gas, water, rail and post should be fully renationalised so society's wealth can be rationally and democratically planned. No national party campaigns for that. Tusk does. Clearly the first and overriding important imperative is for national coordinated weekday protest actions, industrial action by all unions coming together in a 24-hour general strike. But the elephant in the room when no national party stands seriously against austerity is what do we do at election time if that's all on offer is greater or lesser enthusiasm for the continuation of austerity. Trade unionists need a party of their own rooted in the organisations and communities of the working class, fully wedded to a socialist alternative to cuts. Five years ago, Bob Crow kick-started Tusk, and in terms of candidates, we were the sixth largest party at the May elections. 750 candidates for Parliament and for local council seats we stood in May, but we haven't got the resources to match the tasks in front of us. We can't ignore the need 
for a working class socialist alternative at election time. And it's a debate that more and more in the trade union movement have come into grips with. As well as the RMT backing Tusk, conferences in the last few weeks of the Fire Brigades Union and the University and College Union lecturers overwhelmingly called for a conference of trade unions to develop an independent political voice for the trade union movement. Tusk is the precursor to that development, showing the way austerity can be challenged when elections come around. The Tories can be beaten. Cuts that Osborne and Cameron plan for can be defeated. We can beat austerity through coordinated national industrial action and we can build an electoral alternative to repopulise socialist ideas. Give your support to Tusk.